Uh, driving around Houston, you've probably seen them before, these giant touchscreens on the side of the road. They are here to help answer questions like where the closest bus stop might mm -hmm. be, nearby restaurants, and even more. Yeah, however, some people say that they're not only inconvenient, but also making it really hard for people with disabilities to get around. KBRC 2's Gage Golding is live for us on Shepherd Drive near Alabama Street in Montrose, investigating whether these signs are actually in the way. Gage, what did you find out? Well, the quick answer is yes and no. They're in the way, they're not in the way. It all depends on where they are. This guy right here, smack dab in the middle of the sidewalk. The ADA says you need three feet of distance around there uh, to make it handicap accessible. Got three feet right here. You tell me. We're not, we don't have three feet here. Now, if we scurry to the other side over here, I'm gonna go down from the edge of the device, right? We're kind of eyeballing it here. So we have three feet, thanks to this little extra apron that the city built on here. However, it's still pretty tight and snug, and it doesn't make it any easier to navigate around this big thing. It's in the middle of the sidewalk. Planted like a bad weed sprouting between the cracks in the concrete, these eight foot tall, ginormous digital signs are sprouting up all across Houston. It's nice and it's big. And they're growing. The mayor's office of innovation says they planted 75 of these kiosks along city sidewalks since the program was born in 2021. And one of the most egregious examples we found of this giant touchscreen is here along Shepherd Drive at Alabama Street. This thing, the massive touchscreen, kind of like a really big example of the camera that you have right there on your phone. Like, I think they're handy for a lot of people that don't have phones or that are looking that can't pull up on their phone but in the same breath. It definitely makes it awkward to bike through here. Not all of them are hard to get around, right? No, not all of them are hard to get around, but it's particularly concerning when you have this, these kiosks in the middle of sidewalks because that creates problems for folks who are using wheelchairs. Gabe Cazares heads up Link Houston, a transportation advocacy group. He's not worried about kiosks like this in downtown placed out of the way. Rather, it's these ones that meet ADA mandates of three feet of clearance, but still pose problem. We don't have a great connected sidewalk network, so every time we lose space, on a sidewalk, it creates problems for pedestrians. Um, I mean, from my perspective, it's probably just more inconvenient. All right, so here's the deal. We got 75 of these eight foot tall kiosks all throughout the city. And if the city likes them, you could get 50 more of them, bringing the total up to 125. That could be by the end of two years. So here's the consolation, right? Say you're not a huge fan of this giant thing. Maybe you want to walk side by side and not single file on through here. The city could get 35 to $50 million from the ads that you see on these screens over the next 12 years. So it could be lucrative, if you will, to drive by and see them. I'm reporting live in Montrose. Gage Golding, KPRC2 News. All right, inconvenience for some, moneymaker for others, perhaps. All right, Gage, thank you, sir.